welcome back to my channel hope you're well um so i'm back again with another speed build um this one is it's like a barn conversion kind of style um that's what i was going for um so i love these kinds of houses in real life um i'd love to own one because <laughs> i just think they're really cool um and they always look really really nice um so i want to try and recreate one in the sims um so it's a two bedroom house with a garage um, it's got a nice big garden um, in hindsight I kind of wish that I hadn't put the roll garage door on and I maybe sized up one of the like pet doors so it actually looked like a proper barn door um, but I mean it's modernized it's a converted barn so it's fine I think we'll get away with it I'd only just recently found out that if you press uh, shift and C when when clicking on roofs that you can manipulate them a bit more so you can make them a bit more curvy and stuff and I'm actually really ashamed that I've only just found that out but um it's changed my roof game entirely <laughs> a couple of builds now I've done the roof just looks so much better because I recently discovered this new trick which definitely isn't new to probably most other people um <laughs> But yeah, um, I love using these sized up chimneys as well because they kind of stick through the house and it looks like a proper, like a nice old style um, kind of build. So the idea of this one was that the, the section with the, um, like the wooden beam wall covering thing, um, that's the old barn section. And um, that's been converted to the front sort of entrance of the house or the living area. Um, and then the rest is sort of like a, an extension. Um, so that's the kind of idea that I was going for and um, I think the spacing worked quite well I mean the, the bedrooms are a little bit um, the main bedrooms a little bit long um, but I think the sizing is, is fine for what it is and, and like I've said before I always kind of focus more on the exterior than than the actual floor plan which is really bad but um, I just like to make it look really pretty on the outside um, and it still works quite well like there's plenty of room um, and the main bedroom has like a double door like leading off onto the big massive balcony that they've got so I think it works quite well um, and I so I've just created kind of like a sloped garage because there is a foundation um, and then the car is just kind of sitting very rudely in the middle of the road it's very inconsiderate but you know what can you do um, and also it looks so satisfying with all the little um, stuffing stones being put on him when it's going fast. Um, it's a lot more painstaking when you're doing it in real life, but um, I think it looks pretty cool and it's going quite quickly. Uh, but yeah, I love using those. They're from Deberg. Um, I just think they're really nice and they make, I think they just make it look a bit more realistic because I like the little tiny pebble terrain paint thing. Um, I use that quite often, but I just think with these stepping stones kind of like put on top, it just makes it look a lot more um, kind of realistic and, and just makes it look quite pretty and, and cute. So I love using those. Um, and I got a few plants and things from Deberg and also obviously like the main menu. Um, I put some hanging plants on like the decking thing um, at the back obviously the climbing flowers from jungle adventure because when will i not use those <laughs> i think it's like my thing <laughs> if you watch one of my builds you're gonna find that somewhere um yeah so i am just creating the back garden i put a few little kind of like vegetable patches in so there's one that's kind of like cabbages and then i do i do one which is potatoes and i just love it i think it looks so cute um, I am quite pleased with the garden actually, um, I, there's, there's not a huge amount of landscaping but I just think it, it works quite well because I've got a few little vegetable patches, there's like, I end up putting like a swing in and there's like a lot of um, like plants and stuff so I just think it works quite well in the end and it's quite cute. Um, oh, I just love using everything from Deberg, I might do like a... Um, a debug challenge at one point but <laughs> and that fencing looks great um so yeah on the inside so i've got the garage in there so i furnished that as a garage i put another little car in there um it is all open plan i made the kitchen kind of separated with a half wall um 
and then it's got kind of like the dining room by where the back door is and then the lounge living area is where the sort of chimney comes through the wall um, and I went for a kind of like a, a rustic homely kind of furnishing I know a lot of barn, barn conversion houses are actually quite modern inside and it's all sort of part of the idea of it being a complete uphaul and, and conversion and is you know it's meant to be brand new inside but I wanted to make it look a little bit more um, sort of homely and rustic like I like furnishing like this um, I use the faux fireplace again like I did in my little granny cottage because it's the, the one that fits properly um, on the chimney coming through the wall um, and I just put this log the like little logs from um, debug in there as well see look here's my little potato patch <laughs> so I use the potatoes that are meant to go on like a grill on um, from debug and I just size them up by one and um, yeah I just pop a little, little bit of fencing around it look how cute that looks they're very self-sufficient um, so I did put some um, solar panels on as well on the top of the roof so it is I, I guess it is kind of eco like aesthetically it, it looks eco because they've got the solar panels and they've got their own little vegetable patch like they can use it because you know um, but there is um, I do put some kind of like planters out there as well so they can use those um, so I, I kind of made it half and half modern and traditional so I did put some I put like a relatively modern kitchen in but it, it's the kind of like it's the one that I tend to use for like um, loft, lofty kind of builds uh, but I think it's quite modern I think it fits this kind of style quite well um, in my head I was like well in this kind of house they might kind of update things in sort of sections so they might have had like a slightly updated kitchen or they might be using kind of like um, recycled counters and things so I just thought it fitted quite well um, so it's kind of modern but still quite traditional at the same time um, and the living area I do kind of make it modern but it again it's just it's just really homely and it's just really nice um, I wanted to clutter up the kitchen a reasonable amount but not too much um, I don't want to make it too overdone but I just want to make it look lived in um, and I think it worked quite well um, I just wish that we could there was maybe like in the cupboards where you've got like a glass um, door and the shelves inside I wish you could just place things in the cupboard because I just think you can still see it and it look quite cool but I suppose we can't have everything can we <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I do, I do quite like this kitchen, and I like that it is open plan. Like you, you can kind of see through into the living area, and you can see the front door. And I just think, yeah, it worked relatively well. Um, I used the items, some items from um, Eco Living. So obviously the coffee table, the chair, and the TV stand. Um, just because I really like them, and I think they. They can look quite rustic and traditional, but also they've got very modern um, sort of twist to them. So I wanted to make sure I added those in there and I just thought they, they suited the kind of aesthetic I was going for anyway. Um, and I just want to make the lighting quite soft, like not too bright and harsh, but I do put some, um, I think I put like a pendant light in there just for the coffee table but on the screenshots for some reason my lights just disappear so even if it's a pendant light they just disappear and you can't really tell what I've put there and it's a bit annoying so um, you'll see the light that I put in on the build but not on the screenshots um, I love these laundry day uh, side tables and stuff I think they suit quite well because um, they go with the kind of like barn rustic theme um, and I wanted to get a nice big family table in there. I use those kind of like woven chairs um, from Laundry Day. Just because I love them and I just think they look really nice. Um, and yeah, eco rug, nice pendant lighting. It's just, it's quite simple. I don't overdo the rooms very much. Um, but I just wanted to make it quite homely and, and quite realistic really. Because I just feel like there's enough in there to make it look, you know, homey. But not too overdone 
Um, and I love furnishing garages as well because it just means that you can just grab a load of junk from like debug and from like the miscellaneous decoration section and just shove it all in there and it looks really cool. Um, <laughs> my builds are quite ridiculous and chaotic because I just I always sort of flipped from one room to another I don't kind of just focus on one at a time all the time like even if I am I mean like the majority of the time I am but I'll find something and I'll just sh like go back to another room and then shove it in and then go back again because I always find stuff that I want to use and then completely forget to find it when I'm actually furnishing that room um, so yes yeah, so the bedroom so I did a bedroom for like a teen girl um, I used the hidden like fabricated bed and desk from eco lifestyle um, just I like I quite like the dog tooth um, the hounds tooth bedding I thought it looked quite, uh, look quite nice in this in this bedroom um, so I wanted to make the walls you know have a bit of decoration on like a flag and just some bits and bobs that, that teenagers might have um, it's again it's not too cluttered or over done it looks quite um, pretty but it is still lived in so there is some like posters and stuff on the wall jungle adventure mirror because it's so gorgeous I love that mirror so much I want one in real life for sure um, string lights as well because I love those and a little bit of clutter on the dresser um, but not too much so yeah, this room is pretty easy to furnish and I think it looks quite cute. A um, little bit of mess, a few magazines on the floor by the bed. Then I just wanted to add a little bit of um, something to the hallway. So I just put a kind of like a seat and shelving unit in there, um, just so it wasn't completely empty. Um, and then this is the master bedroom. So it is quite long. Um, there is a little bit of space sort of in the middle but um, I actually really like the furnishing of this room I've done it quite differently to how I usually do it because I just think it looks a lot more um there's a lot more like neutral colors and I just think the color scheme work quite well like you've got a navy and you've got the dark beiges with the creams um, and the curtains over the blinds as well which I think is really nice um, so I put the dressers from, I think those are the jungle adventure ones, so I put the dresser in and then I also put a side table and they've got a little armchair too. Um, so yeah, again, it's really not overdone, there's not a huge amount of furniture in here but it's just a long rectangle so it's quite difficult to furnish I find. Um, but I, you know, I'm quite pleased with it, I think it worked quite well, I'm actually really happy with this build um, as a whole. Um, you might have just missed it but I did put like a little bike rack out to the side of the house um, I used some like posts from debug and then just put a few little bikes by it um, so yeah so I made a little kind of like balcony it's quite a big balcony actually um, and then just put up some like a table and chairs and stuff and then some little mushrooms <laughs> edible or not I don't know <laughs> But um, yeah, it's a little soil and a little spade thing. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this garden and the build as a whole. Um, but you'll have to let me know what you think, um, whether you think it worked well or, you know, what have you. Um, I will put this up on the gallery, so if you do want to give it a download, you can do. Um, yeah, so just finishing off um, just the garden and um, just like kind of the side of the house, adding a few different extra um, bits. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your opinions and what you think. Um, whether you like the little vegetable patch <laughs> or not, I do personally. But yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will speak to you again soon. Screenshots coming up. <laughs>